Greetings everyone! Today on the bench I have the TDA 7850 4-channel amplifier. It's one of these 12-volt supply type car stereo chips. And they uh, put it on a board here. Two inputs, two channels each. One of these uh, Chinese budgety uh, boards off of eBay. I'm not sure where I got it, if I bought it or somebody sent it to me. But I had a request to test it. I didn't plan on testing it, but um, somebody wanted me to test it. And hey, if I have it in my junk box, I can certainly dig it out and test it. If I don't have it, I can't help you there. But, uh, let me move stuff out of the way uh, so I can make a title for my video. I'll set it like that. There we go, that should work. So I can make a thumbnail for my YouTube. This chip can handle down to 2 ohm loads, so we'll test that as well as the regular 4 ohms. I'm not going to bother with 8 ohms. It's really meant for 4 and 2 ohms. You know, if you want to get any sort of power from 12 volt supplies, you have to use the lower impedance. But yes, this amp has 4 bridged outputs. So I'm expecting at 4 ohms to see around 12 watts with a 12 volt input. And uh, we'll see how it does at 2 ohms. I'll put a link in the description. I did test this board when I got it 5 or so years ago. So without further ado, let's get it all hooked up. Connections are made. I can only do 2 channels at a time because of the limitations of my power supply, but that won't make a bit of difference. There's the load. Quantasylum. I just have to attach a heat sink. So let me get this heat sink attached. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just making fun of those channels. That they always show these amplifiers and they put the tiniest heat sink on it. This needs a pretty decent size heat sink. So I'll get this heat sink mounted, which is probably a little overkill, but it's what I have. I already have the holes drilled from the last review. So let me get that hooked up and begin testing. Beginning with the kickoff measurement, as I call it, where I do a quick measurement at one kilohertz, one watt. With this amp, I'm using four ohm loads. And, ooh, Distortion is pretty high. You know, this is where the amp should do its best, and we're measuring about 1.5% distortion. Pretty bad. The gain of this amplifier is around 26 dB. You can see we have a lot of even order harmonics. The second order is the highest. That's what's dominating our measurement. The odd order harmonics are pretty low, but you can see the uh, we're dominated more by the even order harmonics. We are getting a little of 60 hertz in its uh, harmonics as well, getting in from outside, but you know that's below 80, minus 80 dB. So yeah, I, I don't know what the deal is, I don't know what to say. You know, maybe it's a fake chip. Maybe it's an implementation with this board layout. They got those little buffer ICs on the board. Maybe something's up with them. The chip itself should perform much better, according to the data sheet. And I, I don't doubt it would. You know, most chip amps have pretty decent distortion levels. But, yeah, this thing is junk. Should I really continue going ahead? I guess I will. Let's look at the frequency response. Well, at 20 hertz, we're almost at minus 2 dB, which is, it's not terrible, but it's eh, not really hi-fi. I'd want, uh, I want to see it less than minus 1 dB, really. At 20 kilohertz, it's fine. It's about one-tenth of a dB down. Power versus distortion. Where is my pointer at? I'll just use my finger. Yeah, this is a quality audio protection. What are fingers for anyway? Red line is 4 ohms. Green line is 2 ohms. And as you can see, 
it's pretty flat, but consistently flat, consistently bad at one and a half percent. And we're a touch over two percent at two ohms. Look at that. Again, it stays pretty flat, but yeah, it's just pretty bad. And well, I normally use the point one and 1% lines as an indicator of power, but <laughs> you know, we're above that, so I really don't have an indicator point. So yeah, it's, uh, we'll just say at two, three, four, you know, it's around 15 watts at four ohms. And well, I really could have used another data point. I, I stopped the test a little early here. Where my, you, know, you set the uh, signal dB level for stop point, and I probably could have used another one, but it, it's going to be probably around 22 watts, you know, somewhere around here, in this area, I would say, around 4%. So yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I can't use my normal data points there for measuring this thing because it's so high in distortion. Frequency versus distortion. Only measuring at 4 ohms here because, you know, what's the point? And, well, it's pretty flat across the band here. Around minus 36.5 or so dB, which is around 1.5% uh, total harmonic distortion. Yeah, it's, uh, and I like that it's flat. It's just that the distortion is high across the band. Measuring at around 2 watts. Well, there you have it. I didn't measure it at 14.4 volts like I normally do with these car stereo type amps. You know, you get more power, but the distortion's going to be about the same. I didn't really want to waste my time. Yeah, it uh, pretty much goes into the piece of shit pile. It's uh, just too disappointing for me. I do remember when I tested this thing about 5 years ago, it did have harmonic peaks on my oscilloscope when I used the oscilloscope's FFT. Because it's so high, it would easily show up on the oscilloscope. Because my 8-bit scope can, you can only see distortion down to a certain point around, yeah, with the oversampling around 0.2, or so. But of course, this is so high, you can clearly see that. Well, this is the worst one I've ever measured. You know, if you go back in my uh, catalog of videos where I've put other amps on the uh, Quantasolum there, they were quite a bit better. But this thing is over 1%, which uh, it's unacceptable, completely unacceptable to me. And it's just rubbish. I, I don't know, it's a layout issue or something with this. I think the chip, an authentic chip, should perform much better. You should be getting down around the 0.1% for much of its measurements, I would think. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.